Look, this time I'm just gonna use. Oh wait, what? Okay, this is rank duel. This is like not a custom or anything. Uh, okay, who is it? Tuppy? Tuppy? I don't. I don't know who this guy is. He has a master's border, but it's a guardian. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just got back from driving like five hours or so from my trip. It was good. It was very good. Uh, I got to record this video for today, though. Let's see. So, beads, bracer. Probably beads. That way, in case he cripples me, I can just beads that since I have a CC mid ultimate as well. So, I can either counter ult or use beads rather than having to save my ult for only his ult. I mean, technically, it's a winnable matchup, so that's nice. But <laughs> if I don't win this, I don't I don't see how I can win anything. I should win Warrior's Blessing against Ares. Warrior's Blessing destroys Ares, but, you know, uh, I didn't. <laughs> Mage's Blessing is still good, though. Gives me that base damage for my abilities. Since Sobex, Sobex scales so bad. If I can count, if, if I can get him out of his flames, he loses all of his clear. Which is good. Did I not hit these minions with that? Whoops. Yeah, so I can stun him out of his his uh, flames only if I'm not crippled, which most of the time I'm going to be. I can juke those pretty well, though. That's good. Good start. We went the same exact start. Does quite a bit of damage. I need to not get hit by the chains. Otherwise, I'll have to use my beads. Ares is super scary. His chains can heal all my health. Okay. And he has ages. Okay, so I can, I can just wait for an ability. I should be able to kill him. The only thing is that he can turn this around with his chains. If he hits all three. Okay, he missed. Might be able to get this. Okay. Nice. Okay, good first blood. All right, we'll go around this wall. All right, yeah, I got insanely lucky finally. Well, is it luck? Because I got super unlucky the first, you know, three times I had to play Sobek in this series. So maybe this is just my luck com finally coming around. Got three bad matches. Now I finally get a good one. <laughs> but I need this. So we got to focus on the game. I know a lot of people are realizing that I get distracted easily and make silly mistakes. And we're not going to do that. We're going to focus, even though I'm tired <laughs> i also will be streaming after this game goes live oops or i should be all right also for just those take five seconds for dead by daylight i will do edited videos by the way i'm not gonna do like full gameplay of that because i know that the game gets repetitive but that's it i will do it all right he's starting pythags which is kind of silly because Bancroft actually gives more power than Pythag's, even with Ares passive. It used to be that Pythag's gave, whoops, 120 power for Ares, but it doesn't anymore. Okay, use that too early. Nah, that sucks. Thumb out would do a little bit more, but it's only rank one. Rip. All right, well, I get my Bancroft's online, which is fine. Two tower shots was too much to take. Yeah, Pythogs, even on Ares, it's it's in duel, it's just not enough. It's not even close to as good as Bancroft's. The benefit is that it gives health and cooldown, but I would say the power for Bancroft's is more worth it. Which one's cheaper though? I'm not sure. Pretty sure they're around the same price, or it's not that big of a difference. Can't let him chain me here. Okay. Canceling that chain gets rid of a lot of his clear. The only thing is that his, or canceling his flames, but his chains are super, super scary. Because as a guardian, I have such a large hitbox, it's easy for him to hit them. Whoops, that kind of sucks. 
Let's see where it's 700 health. If I all nice, he missed. He missed. I got, I'm gonna get my abilities up. Nice, good stuff. All right, I'm gonna take this game as seriously as I can because once I get past Sobek, I think we're like we're good. Like we might have some issues with like Jing Tian maybe, but even then, as long as we don't go back down to Sobek. Who is after Sobek? Savannas? Okay, well, I can't. I'm better. I feel like I'm better on Savannas, but the problem is Savannas is worse than Sobek, which is kind of funny. I'm better with Savannas, but as like just studying, comparing gods side by side, Sobek is better than Savannas. So, if I get a bad matchup with Savannas, that would be bad for me until I get better at Sobek, which is funny because I have Sobek Diamond. Okay. I can also use my one for CC Mindy in case he ults me. Let's see if I can do that. Yep. Oh, I did not heal as much as I had wanted to. Okay, good. Use the life steal. Life steal up on him. Okay, come on. Come on, don't go, don't go back. Don't go back. Okay, whatever. That's fine, that's fine. Push an entire mini wave in. He's skipping boots, okay. That's fine. He's going full aura, which you should never go on Ares and Duel. It's not really that good. Like some of, like Voidstone, it's good. But the other aura items really are not. They don't make up for everything else. Oh, whoops. I need to go D and D. Okay. I hate when I forget to go D and D. All right, uh, magic protections, let's go. And we'll go Voidstone as well. It's a good item. Even though it'll be slightly better for him. Void Stone, Pestilence, Contagion, like the few aura items are uh, good to pick up on Ares. Just because they're good to pick up with or without his passive. So it's just like a bonus. You should always see Ares passive and duel as a bonus. Not so much as something you should build around. Ah, oh, tough. I thought that would kill it. He has, does, wait, does he have more stacks on Mage's Blessing than I do? I must have missed a lot of minions that one time I died. Considering I have another kill than him. Interesting. I guess that was a bad time for me to die. Oh. Okay, nice. Just ult right away, that way we can get more of it charged. Use that too early. Nice. That's what I was hoping the first time I tried diving in with tower, but it was too early. I didn't have enough protections the first time. Good kill. Okay. Now here's the thing about Guardian versus Guardian. Guardian versus Guardian sucks because the game takes forever. I don't know why, but it's when there's one Guardian versus a squishy god, the god the game's not so long because either the Guardian gets destroyed or the Guardian destroys the other person. But Guardian versus Guardian, it's just like a stalemate for most of the match. So I'm gonna want to get a poly sometime. Even if like he goes some crazy build where I need to counter build it hard, I have to fit in poly somewhere for objective push. Otherwise, this game is never gonna end because objectives are a big issue here. Okay, do that. Now I'm not too sure what I want for my second relic. Hmm. Could go thorns, even though we're both magical. We could go thorns. Could go sunder. I think that might be a winner. Or sprint. In case he tries getting like a gem. I think a sunder is the winner. Sunder him and then all. And he'll take so much damage. That's nice that I can knock him away. And kind of waste out his chains like that. I think I swear if if you time that right, you can have Ares be flung, like at the end. I know you can. I'm like pretty sure. Let's see if we can time this right. Dang, I was gonna try to heal. I thought the timing would be perfect, so my three would come up just as I threw him, and then I'd be able to kill him, heal, and then use my two, and I'd be fine. But since you know with Bancroft and my three, that would have healed so much. 
but unfortunately it did not. I'm, a, I'm not playing my best right now just because I did just get home after driving very far. That's okay. You know what? We don't want a chalice. We want to save up for upgrade thunder. I'll wait for it. We're very close to getting it. It's a good thing we got a even matchup. <laughs> Guardian versus Guardian. I can't imagine how I'd be playing against something else right now. I am trying my best. I am focusing. He skipped boots. Like, I feel like that should be hurting him more than it is. I bet you if I ran away more, if he would probably be forced to get his boots. Oh no, he got them. Okay. We're good then. How much health does he have? 1900? Wait. How do you have 300 more health than me? Oh, that sucks. That's unfortunate. Okay, let's see. Let's see. He's on my side of the map. Where's the chains? Where's the chains? I think he was waiting for my chains. Or for my one. Let's see how much damage this deals. <gasps> oh, I missed it. That's actually pretty bad. I don't think I should die. Well, then again, that is Ares damage. Heal, heal, heal. Big heal. Not big enough. 1500 from shackles I have such a big hitbox <laughs> oh uh, I don't want to go double defense but I'm going to gotta let's see what defense I'm gonna go bulwark I'm I could have just used my beads I'm mainly saving my beads for when he chains me and I can use my one to get away and then I still have my my counter alt plus my one for his alt I missed him while he was halting. Are you serious? Does he have spear yet? No, he's going double defense too. Well, that's great. How much life still does this give? This just gives 12% life still. So 24% life still, including the passive. Bancroft gives 15%, but more the less health you have. That's pretty annoying, not gonna lie. I'm just gonna use my beads. That's pretty annoying, not gonna lie. He has blink. Okay, I tried to get out of that. Knowing he had blink, I was gonna sidestep, but never mind. Great. Hmm. I really hate being stuck on Sobek. He's 400 more health than me? Why does Airy scale way harder than me? Oh no, it's because of Pythax, huh? Yeah, 200 health. And then plus this. Well, I have that too. <sighs> Great. Knew he was going to blink and couldn't sidestep it. Nothing else I would have done would have mattered unless I just backed farther. I wanted to try and bait him. Because if he missed his chain, he wouldn't have been able to kill me. I would have been able to cancel his three and he would have only had auto attacks there. And I had my ultimate and everything ready to turn. See, I was going double defense because I know he's gonna get he's gonna get spirit mages, but I guess he's go, going. I don't know why he's going double defense. Because I'm definitely not getting spirit mages. I'm getting obsidian. I guess now he's gonna get obsidian too. I don't know. Either way, this game is not fun. I should be able to come back, but it is not fun. Guarding first guardian is never fun. Why can I not hit that? Two 
214 magic protections? Okay. That's because of his two, though. Alright. Unfortunately, I'm not going to have anything against his ult right now. Did I miss that? How did I miss my Sunder? Okay. Okay. Can you get out of your minions? The boots are up, which is fine. His auto's hit harder than mine, too. Like, a lot harder. And, okay. I swear that shouldn't have hit like that. Great. I have to beat this. Oh, this is not going in nearly as well as I had hoped. He's out of mana, but I can't do anything. This is Guardian versus Guardian. He's too tanky. No. And guess what? I can't take his tower. Maybe I can take his tower. All right. He has an extra 60 power over me. My oh, bulwark should be able to turn a nice fight around. Okay, he missed his chain. That's good. And I'm running away. If he hits his chain, I die. Come on, dude. Miss the chain. Okay, nice. He still went Spirit of the Mages, even though I have double defense. I don't think that's the play. I could go I could go negate the Void and the Spirit of the Mages by going triple defense. I might, but first thing, Obsidian. That'll delay the game by so much, though. But it'll give me a better chance of winning. It's less fun, but it gives me a better chance of winning, and I think that's more important. I guess. Okay. I can't hit him because he's hiding minions again. Okay. Okay. Please let the Sunder still be on him. Nope. Sunder does not last that long. Well, he had Aegis out of the way. He missed his chain. Okay. Decent. I can't catch him though, man. Sobex 1 is not good for chasing because it throws them the opposite direction. Now I have to go after these minions. Otherwise, I'm going to miss out. Dude. I'm thankful for an even matchup. At the same time, Guardian vs. Guardian is painful. Whether you're ahead or you're behind. Because if you're ahead, you can't do anything. If you're behind, you know, can't do anything. Plus, you're slow. You're getting killed. He's going spear plus obscene. Those items don't even work good together. But okay. Because spear of the mages and voids don't apply. And then obsidian. So obsidian is, is going to give him, like, no pen. Because he's going to shred my protections down to about 90. And then obsidian applies. And he's, it's going to be pretty much, like... 15% of pen. Or no, it's going to be closer to like 25 or something. I don't know, just doing quick math. But it's not going to be good is my point. It'll be good before the stacks apply, the Spirit of Magus. But the whole thing is that it's taking up two item slots. Whereas he only could, he could go with the just Obsidian and get a better item. I could also build into health to counter that. I might go with... Soul Reaver might be better than Polly, but I need Polly. I can't go without Polly this game. He has 2600 health. Otherwise, this game is never going to end. Well, okay. Wow, Sunder doesn't even stay long enough for Sobek ult? I thought it did. Well, I guess that's dumb. I'll have to ult and then Sunder and do my combo after. That's dumb. <laughs> Dang. 
thought if I did my ult right after Sun It, it would be fine. I guess not. Alright, please let me kill you. Please don't run away. This is not fun. Okay. Alright, let's go after red buff. At least I'll be able to pick up that. Maybe next fight I can kill him. Okay, let me kill this. Okay. I can back on top of this, take this buff. Alright. Uh, start working towards a poly, I suppose. Four thirty. All right, he has about quite a bit more power than me. Even though I have red buff, that's not a good sign. I'm doing damage, but if he hits like those chains back, I die. Oh, look at how much damage I'm taking. Please don't get your chains. Oh, thank God for Bancrofts. All right, he's dead for 40 seconds, and I have no minions. So I can try to go for a bull demon. Well, there's my minions. I don't think I could take his Phoenix, man. This is this is Guardians, though. All right, I need to get... I don't have my poly online. So without that, I really don't think we can take Phoenix. I'll do like half its health, maybe. Let's see. Let's see how much damage we do we do to it. Going for Bull Demon might have been safer. All right, without Polly, let's see. All right, half the Phoenix health. I don't know if his blink is up or not. I could commit to this. It was up. I committed. I think it's worth it. Because his blink is down, I don't see how he could chase me now. As long as I take a direct path back, he shouldn't be able to catch up to me. Yep, he gave up. Okay, good. Alright. With the Phoenix down, we can kill the Titan, we can win. Alright, Polynomicon. This. Upgrade our bees just in case. Okay. He sold his boots, probably. Like, I don't know if he got a speed potion or not. He probably does. I'm assuming that's going to be a Kronos pennant based on his build. Could be a rod though, with double pen. Dang, that's going to hit pretty hard. Okay, I guess I mistimed that apparently. No, don't hit, don't hit another chain. Okay. If you hit all three chains, you probably could have turned. I do have both my... No, my bulwark's down. Never mind. Okay, he missed again, but I can't pluck him. Rip me. I have to go back for red buff. <laughs> this is... This is... This is a process that's happening. Okay. Alright, we almost have red buff. Yep, that's Chronos Pennant. I could sell my boots for Speed Potion and work towards a Soul Reaver. I think I will, since he has 2,800 health. Holy moly. Okay, so get this. And work towards Soul Reaver. Ah, uh, that wasn't worth it. I thought I could get Tier 2. Rip. My boots have better stats than Tier 1 book. That's fine, because we have red buff. It's usually better to wait for your tier 3 item with speed potion. But I guess I was a little impatient. When that is how you lose these types of matchups. He's probably going to use his Aegis, so I'm going to cancel it early. There we go, if you time it right. If you time it right, you can fling Ares after he ults you. Yeah, so you can use CC immunity so he won't pull you and it'll fling him back. I was trying to do that all game. So, I'm not, I'll be honest, I'm not that proud of this game. Because I was missing a lot of plucks. And 
like I didn't feel like I did very well uh, in terms of like a lot of the Guardian Gauntlet games, like the Kumba versus AMC, like though that was so good, right? But this one was like I didn't I didn't feel like I did my best. Either way, GG. I'm happy we got an even matchup. It Guardian versus Guardians gets pretty boring though. Next, we will be playing. Let's see. So if we go to Guardians, yep, Savannas. All right. So we'll make sure to watch out for that. We will, of course, use the Barbara skin. And then we have Terra. Oh, 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 I forgot about Terra. I suck at Terra. Okay. Terra's good, though. She's good. I suck with Terra. I'll practice her before we get to her. And then, of course, Jean Tian Yumer. All right. Thank you guys for watching. We're getting close to the end of the Guardian Gauntlet.